Alrighty, another week gone in CIT 80, sorry, 15, both online and face to face. So as week five gets rolled up, although at this point of the recording, you all have another item or two to do. I do this on Friday of week five, but you can look at week six, okay? So just a heads up, and I did some of this last week talking about the lab test. I have decided to make a change to the lab test to allow you to do it uh, unlimited. Uh, when you look at the um, things, uh, when you look at the instructions, which I recommend you do, uh, and we just learned about how these lab tests work and week five class work, but uh, I'm going to give you unlimited attempts at this lab test, but generally you probably won't need more than one or two because these videos are really helpful. Just keep in mind, okay, this is the part where you want to make sure you get this, is when you download this Word document and the instructions, you work on it, and then you submit it, If well, you can look at what you got wrong, and then you don't have to start from the beginning. You can start from that file that you submitted and then modify that file with the items you got wrong to submit it again. Okay, you got it? If not, ask me, okay, uh, on class chat or through an email. Uh, class chat is a great way to ask questions, by the way. So that's heading at you. Week six classwork. Um, again, it's a little more involved, but it's really good stuff. So just make sure you follow along and do exactly what I'm asking here. The video is from a prior semester. Uh, I know that can be a little confusing, but that's, uh, and this is what I'd say to you, is that, and this, I even gave you the writing I did from a previous semester. So when you see stuff from a previous semester, you really want to hone in on the writing. That's so important, okay? Uh, and so just FYI on that one. So make sure you do all the things. The last thing I want to say here is that we're approaching, uh, you know, week uh, six. We're two, three weeks away from the middle of the semester. So um, for those of you not getting work done and you're getting caught up, keep in mind, and it's really helpful if you understand um, how to get late points returned to you, okay? And then understanding the tutor schedule, if that's something that you're in need of, uh, understanding my schedule, which is to come see me when you're having challenges, uh, understanding how to report my IT issues, which I talked about here in week three, uh, the week four attendance, right? So, you know, when if there whatever it is that's keeping you from getting work done, now really is the time you want to hone in, get that work done. If you've done trainings in my IT lab, which I highly recommend, uh, you can get uh, for each training you do, I give you the ability to get late points back for one specific item. So it's a one for one. This is not extra credit. You don't you, at the end of the class you don't get to apply these. You just need to use them as you need them. Okay, so uh, my job is to work on uh, week seven and eight this weekend uh, to see uh, what content. I actually want to go source some new content. I may not be able to in one of these weeks because we do a programming thing, which will be fun. Anyway, regardless, we are at week six. I hope you're having a great time. Um, hopefully, you're, it seems like most of you are finding a good groove with this class, which is awesome. Have a great one, and I'll talk to you soon.